Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I would like to teach you how to reset your home screen layout so that all the applications on your home screen will be as it was when you purchased the iPhone or as uh, the newest version of uh, the iPhone comes with uh, the home screen layout. That home screen layout can be on your device and uh, this uh, is how you do it even in the iOS 15 because uh, I did the video about covering this exact thing uh, about the iOS 14 when I was on the iOS 14 beta but now the thing has changed a lot so now the way you could do it in the iOS 14 is unfortunately not available in the iOS 15 so in today's video I will teach you how to do it with the iOS 15 version how to reset your home screen layout to factory default so as you can see currently I'm on the iOS 15 beta so I have all those widgets and sometimes having all this stuff might be very overwhelming when all the applications are in this order way and the widgets are popping because certainly not where you want them to be and you just want everything to be back to normal back to as it was when you first bought the iphone or as again the new iphone comes with the home screen layout of the new ios version which is currently the ios 15 so yeah guys in this video i will teach you how to reset your home screen layout on the ios 15 so let's begin um, so first of all, what you're going to do is that, of course, you're going to go to the settings application. I'm sorry, settings application. And then what you're going to do is uh, that you're going to go scroll all the way down until it says general. Now you're going to tap on the general option over there. And then you're going to go all the way down. And now we don't have the option that we had in the iOS 14 that would allow us to really reset our home screen layout. Not yet. So previously, on the upper side of the shutdown, we would have the button that would say reset. But now that button is gone. And now it says transfer or reset iPhone. So this is second to last option and we're gonna tap on it. So transfer or reset iPhone. As you can see right over here, now we have um, a big option which says prepare for new iphone make sure everything's ready to transfer to a new iphone even if you don't currently have enough icloud storage to back up no that's not what we want where is the re reset home screen layout option where is it because it must be here it must be in the screen well actually the thing is that now it has changed we see that at the bottom of the screen, at the very bottom of the screen, we have two new options. First one says reset, and the second one says erase all content and settings. Now be careful, be careful not to misstep on any of those, because erase all content and settings, the last option, the second option, will actually delete everything that is on your iPhone, and it is permanent, and you cannot undone it. So what we want to do is tap on the first option, which says reset. So we're gonna tap on it. And now we get a bunch of options, as you can see right over here. So these options are reset all settings, reset network settings, reset keyboard di dictionary, reset location privacy, and reset home screen layout. So out of these five options, we need the fourth option. So one, two, three, and four. So re which says reset home screen layout. So we're gonna tap on it. And as you can see, we will get this pop-up screen, which will say, this will you reset your home screen layout to factory defaults. And that's exactly what we want to happen. So we're gonna tap on reset home screen, this red icon right over here, as you can see. So we're gonna tap on it and voila, the home screen has been finally completely reset it as you can see right over here no extra widgets that we had all the applications are back that might be one of the reasons why you want to reset your home screen layout because some applications have been gone well actually they were in the app library but maybe you didn't know it so yes that's how you reset your home screen layout in the ios 15. 
So this is how the new iOS 15 default home screen layout looks like. Maybe you don't want these widgets popping around over there, as you can see right over here. Two widgets are still here, so we're gonna just simply tap on remove stack. Again, remove stack, remove stack, and bam, as you can see right over here, now the home screen layout has been finally reset it over here. And now, as you can see, all the applications, for example, on this first page, all the applications are as they were when you first bought the iPhone or as they are when you will buy the new iPhone, for example, the new iPhone 12 or iPhone 13, like the new iPhone that supports iOS 15. On the second page, until the utilities, everything is, again, normally, like the default home screen layout. And then, as you can see right over here, we get a bunch of applications. All the applications that were on your iPhone will be back on your home screen. So, and they will be arranged in the alphabetical order. So, as you can see over here, I don't know why BitLife is over here in B, but anyway... Other than that, everything is back in the alphabetical order. So we have this A4, we have activity, and you see A, everything is like A, then Airfinder, Akinator, AliExpress, Amazon, then we go B, like battery, again, Big Tap, Birdwatch, OS IO, and then C, Chrome, and so everything, as I've already mentioned, is now in the alphabetical order. So A, B, C, D, F, G, and so on. So that's what this resetting home screen layout does. And I want to mention, I've got this question so many, so many times. Guys, this does not delete any of the applications or anything at all on your iPhone. It doesn't erase any of the content, any of the data from your iPhone. It does not delete anything. The only thing that it does is that it resets the home screen layout. It just rearranges the applications. It just sorts the applications in the default, factory defaults way. Nothing is deleted from the iPhone at all. So that's how you reset your home screen layout even with the iOS 15. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. If you like this video, then make sure to click like and subscribe down below so that this video can spread to more people who also need to know how to reset their home screen layouts to the factory defaults. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!